Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by financetechnicians.com. The topic we are looking at here is the books of double entry and posting the data in the petty cash book payments into the books of double entry. Previously, we looked at the petty cash book payments. We listed down what those payments were. And in addition to that, we did a little bit of analysis concerning the transactions themselves. And as we can see here, that the total value of all the payments made from the petty cash was 111 and we split that between stationary at 59 and general expenses at 52. So what we need to do next is to effectively go through the three step double entry posting process to identify which accounts need to be impacted upon by these transactions and whether it's going to make the value of the account go up or down and therefore identify whether the transaction is going to be recorded as a debit or a credit and that's what we're going to do next effectively so we'll have a little look here and we will just transfer this figure these paperwork over here and in relation to that we can see we have the three step process noted and we should be familiar with this now at this stage. We have select the transaction. So we're going to do that here. Uh, it's going to be stationary. So we write down stationary. And the monetary value as noted over here is 59. 59. Now we need to figure out the account type. Does it impact on an asset account, a liability account, an income account, or an expenditure account? Well, the first type of account is going to impact upon is going to be an expense account because stationary is a day-to-day -day operational expense that's incurred. And so we're going to refer to it as stationary. And in relation to stationary, if we're incurring that expense, we would come to the conclusion that the value of that account, the amount on that account is going to go up. And if we have an expense account, we want to increase its value. We're going to have to record the transaction as a debit. That's what we're going to do there. The other side of that transaction is going to impact on an asset account. And that asset account is the petty cash account. And the petty cash account will be affected in that monies is now leaving that asset account. So therefore, the value of that asset account is going to go down. And if we want an asset account to go down a value, we need to record that transaction as a credit. And that's that one dealt with. Next one up is general expenses. So we're just gonna select that transaction and we're gonna write it down there as general expenses. And the monetary value is 52. So this one's relatively straightforward in that we have um, it categorized as an expense account. And the reason why we have it categorized as an expense account is it's actually referred to as general expenses. So general expenses are day-to-day -day operational running costs of a business. So we put it down as general expenses. And if we are increasing the amount of monies we're spending on general expenses by 52, that means this value of the account is gonna go up. If we want an expense account to go up in value, we're gonna to have to record it as a debit transaction. The other side of that account would be that will be affected would be an asset account and again it's going to refer back to the petty cash because the petty cash is now going to have less monies in it as a result of spending 52 on these general expenses so the value of the asset account is going to go down if we want the value of an asset account to drop we're going to have to record that as a credit and effectively that's those transactions and all we need to do now is actually go about posting those transactions the debits and credits in relation to those in the books of double entry and we're just going to do that as follows so we will have a look at these transactions now and record them into the books of double entry so in relation to stationary we need to set up a stationary account in the books of double entry so we just continue on here with these other accounts so stationary and what we're going to do there is we are going to put the date in, which is going to be the quarter end date, 31st of March, 2020. And in relation to this, we're going to refer to the other account affected, which will be petty cash. And the monetary value is 59. So that's the debit. Next up, we need to put in the credit. And all we do is take up the account that we've already set up for petty cash. And we need to just put on the credit side 
of this account, this transaction here. So we note it down as the 31st of March, 2020, referred to it as stationary. And the monetary value is 59, 59. So that's that account updated with the right amount of monies. Then we go back to the petty cash payments analysis section and we see that we need to record the general expenses. So we open up an account here called general expenses. General expenses. And again, we need to record this on the debit side of the account. So we put it in the quarter end date, 31st of March, 2020. And we're gonna to refer to it as petty cash because that's the other account that's affected. And the amount is 52. So now we have the debit, we need to put in the credit side of that transaction. And we'll just go back to the petty cash book we already had opened. We put in the date, 31 March, 2020. And we refer to it as general expenses, general expenses we just abbreviate that to fit it in and the monetary amount is 52 so now we have the debit transaction and the credit transaction for the 52 we have the 59 debit transaction and the 59 credit transaction if we have a look back then at the petty cash book payments analysis we'll see that we have posted both the 59 and the 52 to the relevant accounts therefore we have concluded this tutorial thank you for watching